In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for K2S plus FeNO32. This is potassium sulfide plus iron 2 nitrate. So to do this, we first need to balance the molecular equation. When I look at it, I can see that I have a nitrate here, two of them actually, and just one here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the KNO. That balances the potassium. So I have one sulfur, one sulfur, one iron, and one iron. So we've balanced the molecular equation. Now we write the state for each substance. Potassium compounds, they're soluble. We write AQ, it'll dissolve. Nitrates, very soluble. We have another nitrate here. And then FES, if you look this up, this is insoluble. It won't dissolve in water. So these two react. This will be a solid and it'll be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. So these are the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This is the complete, sometimes called, total ionic equation. So potassium on the periodic tables in group one, it has a one plus. Sulfur, that sulfide ion, is always two minus. So we have two potassium ions plus the sulfide ion, S2 minus. And I'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that now. And then iron, that's a transition metal. So we have to look at what it's bonded to. Here we have the nitrate ion. The whole thing has a one minus charge. So we have two of these one minus charges. This has to be two plus. So for the iron, that's Fe two plus. We call it the iron two ion. Plus we have two of these nitrate ions and they have an ionic charge of one minus. These are our reactants. Products, we said plus and minus. So we have two potassium ions, just like the reactants, two nitrate ions, same there. And then for solids with net ionic equations, we don't split these apart. It's just going to keep it as FES. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we get to cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. They haven't changed, so we're really not interested in them. Products and reactants. See in the products, I have two potassium ions and in the reactants. I see I have two nitrate ions here in the reactants, two in the products. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for K2S plus FeNO32. Let me clean it up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium sulfide plus iron to nitrate. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion first, doesn't matter, it's the same equation. We should also note we have a 2 plus and 2 minus. They'll balance out, give a net charge of 0. Over here we have a neutral compound. The atoms, they're also the same on both sides. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for K2S plus FeNO32. Thanks for watching.